The Times of India has reported that a debate has started within the Indian Air Force on whether India should leapfrog from the Tejas Mark 1A directly to the AMCA fighter jet. The report also says that the Air Force will certainly require additional Tejas aircraft after the 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighters are delivered, and they can either be the enhanced variants of Tejas Mark 1A or the Tejas Mark 2. If the Air Force goes ahead with an enhanced variant of the Tejas Mark 1A with the improved technologies developed for the Tejas Mark 2, it will reduce the cost of setting up of a new production line. The Aeronautical Development Agency has estimated that 15,000 crore rupees will be required for the development of the AMCA program and another 13,000 crore rupees for the development of twin-engine deck-based fighter, and the Tejas Mark II will demand additional developmental funds to carry out testing and a new production line, as well as considerable upgrades to the upcoming production facilities including training and hiring of new manpower. The Tejas Mark II, AMCA Mark I and the Ted BF will be ready to enter production around the same time, and executing three fighter jet programs could also lead to delays. India has deployed the Israeli LM-2090 Terror, strategic early warning dual-band radar systems on the western border. The ELM-2090 terror system consists of the ELM-2090 ultra-radar system that has a detection range of 500 km for fighter jet size targets, and the ELM-2090S spectra radar system, that is based on gallium nitride technology, and it can autonomously detect and simultaneously track ballistic missiles, air-breathing targets, space debris and satellites at very long ranges, and can also predict an accurate impact and launch point estimation. After signing a $21 million export contract with Bharat Dynamics Limited for countermeasures dispensing system, Airbus has now signed a $93.15 million contract with Bharat Electronics Limited for the manufacture and supply of radar warning receiver and missile approach warning system for the C-295 aircraft and both these contracts come under the offset commitments for the 56C-295 aircraft program. India's Triveni Engineering and Industries has signed a 10-year business agreement with the US firm GAE Technology to locally manufacture the LM-2500 gas turbine base and enclosure. The LM-2500 powers a number of Indian Navy warships. And now the Triveni Engineering and Industries will locally manufacture the LM-2500 gas turbine base frame, acoustic enclosure, and lubricating oil skid, and supply other source control accessories. After acquiring 75% stake in a Hyderabad-based UAV propulsion system manufacturing company Trishula, the Trento Private Limited has now announced that it has acquired a 75% stake in the Indian UAV manufacturer TM Aerospace, and the two partners will now focus on commercializing high-quality and speciality unmanned aerial vehicles for both commercial and defense segments for both the Indian Armed Forces and foreign militaries. TM Aerospace is all set to launch multiple variants of their fixed-wing vertical takeoff and landing UAV for the armed forces, and will also launch a high kinetic energy precision guided munition system in 2022. Prime Minister Modi has handed over the MR-20 hexacopter drones to the Indian Army, which is a cargo drone developed by Indian firm Rafim Fibre Private Limited and is capable of ferrying loads of up to 20 kilograms. The company has already been awarded an emergency procurement contract for 48 MR-20 hexacopter drones, and the company has already delivered a small number of the drones for training and readiness, before the remaining units arrives by December. As Russia has started the delivery of S-400 missile defense system to India, a top US think tank Stimson Center has warned that sanctions against India under the Katsa could trigger a blowback and will set India US ties back by a decade. The Stimson Center has suggested that the US government should either grant a full waiver or only a light and symbolic sanctions.